Gina Barrett, a program director at the Consortium for Public Education. For today's Snack and Learn, we have Patrick Bendel, an outreach coordinator with New Century Careers. Thank you for joining us, Patrick. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Morning. We're happy that you're here. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, New Century Careers and the training that you do? New Century Careers is a nonprofit organization that has been around for almost now 22 years. We're located on the south side of Pittsburgh, and New Century Careers' mission is to supply tuition-free machinist training for individuals that want to make a career in precision machining and manufacturing. And our mission also is to support Southwestern PA manufacturing companies by taking these trainees and placing them in careers, hopefully for the rest of their lives. Sounds like great opportunities. Can you just give us a little taste of what you would do in, in the machinist training program? Yeah, it's a 600 hour training program and it's a lot, a lot of hands-on training. The first month or first 120 hours is something that we call quick train. And it's a combination of classroom training online training using a software called Tooling U, which is specific to the manufacturing world. And then also getting group hands-on experience, getting introduced to tools that machinists use on a daily basis, mic micrometers, calipers, et cetera. During that period of time, that short month, students will also get two national credentials. They're called NIMS credentials in metalworking. The first is on measurement material and safety. The second is blueprint reading and layout. So before our students actually start projects to, for uh, machine work on manual as well as CNC machines, they will have two NIMS credentials and have a nice foundation of knowing what type of tools they're gonna use and be able to look at a blueprint and understand what it's all about. What kind of uh, jobs are obtained by students that would go through your training? What, what could they be looking for in, in the types of careers that they would be entering? Well, there's a lot of choices. And, you know, sometimes people think a machinist and they say, well, what does a machinist do? And the machinist does a whole bunch of stuff. You know, one of our, our folks here that's been around, around for a long time said, if you see something that's a part, somewhere there's a blueprint for it. So sometimes you look around your your room and you see things on an appliance, on a door, you know, a, a piece uh, that you might be creating that could be for a much larger thing. It could be the airline or aerospace industry. It could be medical manufacturing. We have tons of manufacturing companies that make medical uh, supplies and parts. There's no limit to the type of machining that an individual will do. For those of you that might not be into machining, just about every company has manual machines. Sometimes people call them old school machines, but they're very, very useful even nowadays. But all companies seem to have what are known as CNC or computer numeric controls. You know, we talk about, you know, programming. Man machining world has their own type of language of programming called G-coding. So you can actually go up to a machine, program it correctly, and you can actually create a part based on the program that you created. You may have someone watching this who has an idea that maybe they want to go into this type of work, or you might have someone who is really still unsure and just really exploring all different opportunities. Do you maybe talk about what makes someone a good fit, whether they have any knowledge of this or not? The one thing that I would tell students or anyone, because our program allows for anyone that's 18 years of age or older, certainly we love to see students that are graduating considering manufacturing and, and machining as, as a profession. I will tell you that about 80 to 90% of our students in our program over the years have no previous machining or, or manufacturing experience. So we start at the very base, the foundation. It's like you're starting to build, build a building or a house. But we have instructors that have been doing this for a long, long time. And if you're a maker, a creator, a problem solver, and you're okay with math, then you're going to be successful as long as you show up and soak up all the knowledge. One thing that I didn't mention up to this point, and maybe this is, you know, sort of drum roll, please. Our program at New Century Careers and our M2K is tuition free. You know, we don't charge for the program. Obviously, we have to find ways to pay for it. But our students that are in the program will get free training and placement assistance into many of the leading manufacturing companies in our region and will have zero debt once they start their career in machining and manufacturing. 
that's a nice little feature to add um, to know that I'm going to get this great training in a high demand industry. And I'm also not going to have any student loans or debt that I have to deal with on the back end. So it's a you know really great program for a number of reasons. That's one big factor. Do you have any other advice for students who are graduating from a, a program and going into work like this? What's something that you would you would tell them? Maybe just a piece of advice. This industry is in super high demand. You know, they love young folks. Um, having experience being going to so many different manufacturing companies, I look around and there's a person with 38 ex years experience, 42 years experience, 39, and that's great. But at this, by the same token, these individuals are now in their 60s and they very much would like to pass the baton and the torch on to the next generation of machinists. And that's where young people come in. The opportunities are endless. And I mentioned earlier, if you like, if you want to get into medical manufacturing, there's opportunities, aerospace, military, department of defense type of uh, machining, as well as job shops, whole bunch of opportunities there. The other thing is that the state in our, in the state of Pennsylvania that's really being pushed is continuing education. So you say you train in our program, no debt, you get a nice job, you start out at 16, 17 bucks an hour, maybe some overtime. A lot of the companies we work with also participate in apprenticeship. And an apprenticeship is the continuation of your becoming an expert at what you do, a, group, a classroom as well as on the job training while you're paid. And within four years or in a four year time period, you will get your journey worker papers, which means that you essentially have become expert like in your field. And you're not just making this a job, you're making this a career. A lot of opportunities, a um, lot of demand. We love to give tours of our training facility here on the South side. Anyone can make schedule to come down. They could talk to our students and our instructors and sort of get an up close look at what it like, what's it like to run a machine, to look at a blueprint and potentially have a career as a machinist. Can you remind us um, how long your program takes to complete? Yeah, if, they, if, if a student gets into the day program, they're allowed to train up to 600 hours, which equates, equates to about six months. Um, it's every day from nine to three. So each week, a student will be getting 30 hours of training. Now, if they go to the evening program, a little bit less because it's only two days a week. A lot of our students will be, start the career transition around three and a half, four months. We actually have classes to help with resumes. We have mock interviews. We have a binder full of 113 partner companies with their uh, career opportunities in there. Whether you live in Glassport, White Oak, McKees Rocks, Moon Township, it doesn't matter. There's opportunities north, south, east, west of Pittsburgh and those opportunities are in our, our binder. So we have not only, we don't wanna just train people, we want to prepare them to interview and get placed in the career opportunity that they want and we'll assist in that process as well.